This fifth wheel toy hauler behind me here is absolutely stunning inside and out. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is my own independent company, and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work play and faith. So if you want to learn more about that, there will be a link down below in the description and comments of this video, as well as a little box that'll pop up in the corner of the screen here that will take you to the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel where you can see all the things that I am doing to live a more firmly unbound lifestyle and what that means exactly. Plus, there will be a lot of fun, exciting stuff coming throughout 2024 from me and Firmly Unbound. So really excited about that. Go check that out. That is something that I'm really passionate about that I think you will really enjoy. So look forward to seeing you over there. Now this here is a 2024 Keystone Fusion 427 and this has their new black, white, and gray full body paint exterior paint scheme. It just looks incredible. When you close out or close up all the slides on this and see it with the slides closed, how it will be going down the road, it is a stunning piece of art and looks really, really nice. Now we're gonna talk about just a few things on the outside, then we'll head inside, then we'll come back outside and take a look at the more detailed outside features. But a couple things to note, first of all, Fusion has a chrome graphic on it that looks really clean. So although this is all full body paint, full body paint meaning that there's no sticker decals on here, this is all gonna be painted on and it's gonna look like this essentially forever. The only spot that you do see a sticker decal is where they use those chrome stickers to give it the chrome effect. They also have these diffusers over the light bars now, so it gives it a really cool look. I love just the overall look of this front cap in general. Really, really nice. Plus, Keystone has a patent on this Hitch Vision plate here. So this gives you a plate that will better show you as you're looking through the back of your truck, how your truck bed is lining up with your hitch there. This is a toy hauler, so it is gonna come with a Cummins Onan generator as well. You have your pass-through storage compartment. We'll get back out to that in a second though. And then you have an outdoor kitchen with a TV. Again, we'll come back out to these things in just a little bit. So you come to the back here, this is a toy hauler. So it's going to have a garage in it, many different uses for this garage. First of all, you have the patio off the back, which a lot of people absolutely love. And you're gonna have a set of steps that will allow for side entry here. And then as we go inside, we'll actually just start with the garage portion real quick and knock that out. So you have your Happy Jack bed system here. Now, I know a lot of y'all have requested to see what this bed system looks like. Every single toy hauler looks the same. They all look the same. So if you've seen it in one toy hauler, you've seen it in all of them. At these RV shows, I don't have time to pull out all the pins, adjust the beds, and get them all situated in different configurations because currently there's no one in this RV right now and it'll only stay like that for maybe about 60 to 120 seconds. So I have to try to go through this a little bit quicker to get these videos for y'all. But essentially, these two things here come together to make a bed that is the same size as the bed up here that will also drop down. And then these also can turn into two sofas that can move up and down. So you can get them down to the ground, have two sofas here that you can sit on. And again, there's many other toy hauler videos that I have on my page that show you that just this is not going to be one of them. You have backup camera prep here, so you can add a backup camera. And then you are going to have a tinted glass patio door here. So you can see these tinted glass panels here. You see that and that tinted glass will go all the way up. So you essentially have like a three season door as well. Now this here looks to be about a 13 foot garage or so. It, uh, the floor plan layout will have been at the beginning of the video, which will state that, but it looks like it's a 13 foot garage and fusion gives you this ladder tie down system that is welded to the frame. So one of the few tie down systems welded into the frame and it has 37 tie down points throughout this garage. So that should make your life a bit easier when it comes to getting your toys secured. You have an independent AC back in the garage. So this is not ducted into the rest of the RV. That way, any fumes or anything like that that you may have if you're loading motorcycles, side by sides, ATVs or anything like that in here, it doesn't cross contaminate with the rest of the air in this fifth wheel. This has a wet sounds audio system. So you have those speakers up there in the roof. You have a TV here in the garage and you do have a loft now in the garage portion as well. I don't believe Fusion was doing that in 2023 or at least 2022 for sure. So now loft in the garage. A lot of times, unfortunately, I forget to show the half bath, but you do have a porcelain foot flush toilet here in the half bath. 
and you have a sink there and a medicine cabinet. So did not forget this time for y'all and did not overlook it. You also have a window in here and a vent fan up there as well. Sometimes I wish like, because you don't need all the ceiling height in this half bath, I wish they could utilize this space up here for something different. I know Keystone has done that in other models, like one of their Keystone Sprinter bunkhouses, they made it a storage space up above there. Like they could literally do a little cubby back into the loft space there with that space, which I think would be really cool. You let me know what you think though. Tinted glass door going to your living room. The nice thing about this is it has a nice thick rubber gasket here or whatever this would be called maybe a rubber bushing i'm not exactly sure the proper terminology but because of how thick it is it blocks out sound as well when you close this door so if you have kids staying back in that room that will block out a lot of that sound and give them their own sound privacy back there that brings us to the living room area. Now, Keystone Fusion, they do have a couple different interior color options for your interior here. Oh, you're fine, <laughs> no worries. But they have a couple different interior options. So this is their darker brown sofa here. They also do a light gray sofa for their interior. They don't have different color options for your cabinetry though, but this is going to give you an island kitchen in this toy hauler layout and they have some of the most fun bar stools ever these things swivel all the way around and everybody just loves these because you can sit here and you can literally just swing around like this it is so much fun and kids love these things i mean i love it and i'm not a kid but kids absolutely love these things for sure and that is something that i think is really cool that i've only seen in the fusion toy hauler so you will get four of those bar stools there for a spot to hang out all three of these here will recline. So you have smaller recliners on the side and then a big recliner there. Huge window here and you can see they push their slide out boxes up as high to the ceiling as they can. So you are really getting the biggest feel possible in here. Speakers up in the ceiling and then you have your TV here. That's a 50 inch screen TV, a nice thin bezel on that TV. You have a Jensen audio system. I don't know what brand TV this is. It doesn't even say on the front. And this is like a, you know, kind of fake tile looking backlay to the fireplace here. You have your electric fireplace. That will be an electric heat source for you. And then you have storage space all around that entertainment center. Soft clothes on those. More storage under here. That's soft clothes as well. And then up through here. Again, this is like that space I was talking about in the um, bathroom. If they built a different area for the top of that bathroom they'd have to do a side mounted vent fan in that bathroom which i think is why they don't do it but you'd have to do that to get a vent in that bathroom then you could push this storage back or again have storage up in the loft which i just i wish that it was built that way that would just make more sense um right here you're going to have your in command touchscreen control panel for this fifth wheel so everything will be controlled there and then you can see all of your different storage space around there as well um, let's see what else, uh, with your slide outs here, this is one of the toy haulers that does not have that like flush floor slide out. So it does have this little bit of a lip right here in your slide out underneath there. So that's something to be mindful of if that's something that you don't like in a toy hauler RV. That is the same on both sides of your kitchen. Now, as we go through the kitchen, this is going to have a um, suburban stove and oven. So it's a three burner stove right here. You have a bigger oven. It's not the biggest oven ever in a fifth wheel toy hauler, but it is definitely big enough to fit something like a pizza or a turkey in there, things like that. So it is pretty dang big, has more of a industrial look. And then you have a drawer here as well that pulls out. This is a convection oven microwave combo. So also like an air fryer there, nice big residential size and then big storage up here. All solid hardwood on your cabinetry doors. And then these are all soft clothes for your cabinets here as well. You have a vent fan up over this space. In addition to, there should be a vent fan up underneath here. Yeah, little vent smells outside of this fifth wheel. Here's your fan right there. Let me make sure, does that actually vent out? Let's look. No, it doesn't. Okay, there is no vent on there. So this is gonna be your vent fan up in the ceiling. That's gonna be your vent fan that will vent out the smells there. Good thing I checked that. Um, then you have solid surface countertops in here. This is um, it's a, almost a matching backsplash, but it's not solid surface. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a, um, I don't know what the proper word would be, like a plexiglass kind of feeling material. 
Solid surface island as well. You can see there's no heat ducting in the floor. So all of your heat registers are in the island right here. So you see those and that prevents your heat ducting from having to run through the flooring. Outlet in the island as well. And then you can see the drawer that pulls out there. Um, for your drawer constructions, it is just using a pressed wood with staples on those drawers. Have another drawer here. And then at this Dallas RV show, this here is priced at $112,995. Now keep in mind that is with the full body paint package on here. Full body paint adds about eight to $10,000 to the price point of an RV typically. So you can also get this exact same RV with sticker decals on it as opposed to a full body paint package for somewhere probably closer to $100,000. You have a nice looking symmetrical setup here. So everything looks really good there. I like the wood sink covers that they have kind of doubling as a cutting board, stainless steel faucet, little storage space here. I also should mention like if you like warmer colors in an RV, this probably isn't the one for you, but if you like cooler tones, this is definitely a great option. It does have some warm lighting in it. Like with these light fixtures over the island, those are warm but your lights over the cabinet there and the lights in the ceiling, definitely a cooler tone that also feels cool with the gray colors that are in here. It's definitely not the warmest feeling RV. It's not, it's not like harsh feeling in here by any means, but it's an aesthetic that is more on the cool side than the warm side. Coming down, or I guess, I don't know if we looked at all the storage, but all the storage is gonna have two shelves in it. And then you have drawers that pull out here. This one is a little bit bigger down here on the bottom and then storage underneath the sink as well. See, not really too much usable space here. You could put like cooking sheets and stuff like that through here. And then you have your trash can there with these things here that are little tables for your recliners on the sofa. Two more pull out drawers. And then you have outlet here outlet here and you have a power switch to turn on your inverter which is great because this does have a 440 watt solar system which means any outlets in here that have a yellow sticker on them when your inverter is turned on it will power those outlets and it's nice that you don't have to go outside to turn that inverter on you can turn them on right there um, you can see here this is showing how this is like a stuck on backsplash there so it's nice how it, I really just like the look of that versus like a fake tile backsplash I think that looks a lot cleaner in my opinion so I like that. Up here you have your storage over the refrigerator. Nice big storage space up there. And then this is a Furion 12 volt refrigerator, but it is a um, residential size Furion 12 volt refrigerator. Let's see if there's a, okay, just got a pull on it. There you go. So really good size on that. That 440 watt solar system on here, definitely gonna help keep up with anything going on as far as power consumption with this fridge. And they've done a pretty good job with these 12 volt fridges and making them manageable for RVs. That's cool how it has that extra tray there as well. So lots of good refrigerator and freezer space. As we go up into the bedroom and bathroom, we do have a central back system here with a floor sweep on it as well. So this here, see how that will turn on. You basically can sweep up all your debris into that corner there and it'll suck it up into that step. Now you can see here with this slide mechanism that they went with, it does make this walkway feel a little bit more narrow because of how that sticks out just a little bit, but it's not terrible or anything like that. It's just noticeable when I look down at that floor sweep. As we go into the bathroom here in this space, it's a dual entry bathroom. So you can enter it directly from the bedroom where you have a king size bed in here. Nice looking headboard too. I really like the design on that. Not a whole lot of counter space in this toy hauler. You have your shelves there vent fan up here and then a plastic sink with a stainless steel faucet here. And then I love this. They have another floor sweep here on the second level. So you don't have to sweep stuff from up here down the stairs. You have another one right there that will suck up all your dirt and debris porcelain foot flush toilet. And then you have a fiberglass one piece molded shower. So no seams in the shower there. Ceiling height in this toy hauler is only about six, three, maybe six, four. When I barely stand on my tiptoes, my head touches the ceiling. So it is not the tallest upper deck on a toy hauler out there. That means when I step into the shower, yeah, it's about six foot one, maybe to right here. 
and you could be about six foot four maybe into the skylight before you hit your head. It does have an adjustable height shower head, so I will say being 6'2", this still definitely works for me. This sits above my head and I can still spin around. There's plenty of room in here for me. I'm 6'2", 185 pounds. Plus there's a bench to sit on, so I could also sit right here and just hang out. And I love that it's an adjustable height shower head because it bothers me when these RV manufacturers put the shower head mounted so low that someone that's over five foot eight even would have to lift that up over their head. So that is at least nice. But I will say if you're over six four, this upper deck area is gonna feel a little tight and uncomfortable for you. Tankless on-demand water heater controls there. In your bedroom, it does come with the pillows and bedding. You have little side tables here on both sides and they will have some shelving back in that space as well. Lift the bed up and you'll have storage underneath there. Ooh, USB and USB type C connections. Love to see the type C connections on those. And you have a spot to install a Wi-Fi router if you want to install a WineGuard Wi-Fi router there. Storage underneath the bed. And then you have an AC here in the bedroom as well. Your AC system uses these blade AC vents. So these push air out in a 360 degree motion, giving you better air coverage, which definitely is gonna help cool down your RV faster with having a more circulating airflow coming out of these vents. You have two drawers that pull out here. I just sat down on the mattress too, and it actually does not feel too terribly uncomfortable. So that is nice. A Vizio TV in here. So love to see that a little bit more modern, like standard TV than some brand name I've never heard of before, like you usually see in RVs. And then this door slides there. So you have a shelf here. You The really, really nice thing about this toy hauler in particular that I really like, a lot of people don't like having the washer and dryer in the bedroom because it takes up wardrobe space. Well, in this Fusion, they set it up where you can do a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. So you still can use this shelf and the clothing rod for additional storage and have your washer and dryer installed. So I love that. And then you still get this clothing rod over here in this space. So you'll have that area there in this closet and you have a shelf up here as well. So that's something I've always loved about the Fusion that I still really only see from the Fusion. I mean, there's other uh, brands that do some different designs to try to maximize storage in the bedroom while also giving you a stackable washer dryer in the bedroom. But Fusion's the only one I've seen that's really doing like a side-by-side -side setup like that. Also notice you have one of those inverted outlets right here next to the bed. So that is just about everything on the inside of this fifth wheel toy hauler. Let me know what you think and let me know if you could see yourself camping or even living in something like this. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the outside features going on out here. So as we come outside, you have Goodyear Endurance American Made Tires. It's going to have a Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. And then you come down under here, this has the new Lipper auto leveling system. You can see those new jacks there from that new Lippert system. This is one of the only fifth wheel RVs I've even seen at this Dallas show that has that new leveling system. Fully enclosed underbelly, all your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly and you do have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks as well. Now I don't have my keys on me, but this here is just a little storage area underneath there. It has power in there and outlets as well. And then as we come along to the non-camp side, over on this side, you're gonna have 60 gallons of fuel capacity. So you'll have 30 gallons for your generator and 30 gallons for your fuel pump that you can use to fill up uh, gas containers, dirt bikes, side-by-sides, whatever you may want. Side mounted ladder to get up onto the roof. There'll be three ACs on the roof there. You have frameless windows on this toy hauler. So it looks really nice as well. And cable driven slide mechanism on your slide outs here. Let's go back around to the other side. We'll look at the passer storage compartment real quick because that was a huge improvement on these 2024 fusions. Unfortunately, it took some other brands showing that it's possible to do an open concept storage compartment for other brands to start doing it when it was something that I always wondered why they did not do. But you can see as you peep through this storage compartment here, it does now cross all the way through to the other side like we've seen from some other brands. This in-command system here, this is all of your color coordinated wiring for that touchscreen control panel here. Comes with a legend, so everything is very easily labeled there for either yourself or a mechanic to work on it and save some time. Aluminum framing on here and all of your frame pieces are welded on both sides of the frame. This is also a climate controlled area. Spot for a propane bottle here and on the other side, you have your 5,500 watt generator. Love how these are all 
latches on here. They're not like the metal clips. This is where your batteries will go, your hydraulic fluid, and then those just slam shut, making your life so much easier. I can't tell you how much easier that is for someone like me, where I go to show you these things with just one hand and the camera in my other hand. Not having to do the little metal clips is just so convenient. See some of your solar equipment here, your battery disconnect switches. That's your 30 amp solar charge controller and your uh, inverter up there. But a nice big open space now. It doesn't have any dividing um, things in this area. So everything will just be open in here, but a nice big space nonetheless. Last couple things on this side, you have tankless on demand water heater. Your water connections are all right here for your fresh water fill and your city water connections. And that is just about everything, y'all. Here's the new touchscreen control panel for this auto leveling system from Lippert. I bet you it's, oh, default pin is 5241. See what it looks like. There you go. And that's what it'll look like there for your auto leveling. So that is pretty much it on this Fusion 427 toy hauler. You know, and one last little nugget for the people that stuck around to the end, because y'all are the real geeks that like to know the really nitty gritty technical stuff. This is something we've been talking about on some of these RVs, especially with Brinkley coming out. I talked about how there's no silicone seams on the Brinkley models when I filmed them. And this is why I talked about it, because you can see here, this is all silicone all through here. Now this model looks like they literally just got this thing in or just washed it. So it looks pretty good, but we all know what happens to silicone. You can see it on this right here. I mean, it gets stuff just sticks to it really easily. It gets dirty really easily. UV rays make it turn yellow over time. And that is why some of these brands are going away from options where they use silicone to using something that doesn't require the use of silicone with these seams to make the RV look better over time and just have that, you know, longer longevity of looking the way that it does when you buy it. So last little nugget for y'all that stuck around to the end. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly unbound.